Hi, my name is Basil Howard Brown, and I'm happy that you could join us here today. I want to take a moment and talk about the joy of the Lord. Uh, you know, this is the, 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 they say that this is the season to be jolly, uh, being around Christmas and all. But uh, I can tell you right now, every season is a season to be jolly, especially when it comes to the Lord and Jesus and, and what God's done for us and the price that Jesus has paid. And uh, the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. So no matter what you're facing in your trials and tribulations and, and, and when you look at the things of the world and how uh, messed up everything is, you know, a lot of this stuff can get people down, get them depressed, get them tired and weary, and they feel up there under their circumstances. But I tell you right now, we've got some medication that you can take. It's called joy, it's called laughter. The Bible says laughter is like a medicine and the joy of the Lord will be your strength. So here's what the Bible's actually telling us that if I have laughter, it, it medicates me and my spirit man and even my fleshly being and it, and it causes me to rise above my circumstances and I can face them a whole lot better with the joy of the Lord because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And so what you have to do is just begin to laugh. And, and you know, if you have nothing to laugh at, because people say sometimes, man, I've got nothing to laugh at. Well, why don't you laugh at the devil? Uh, the Bible says that God laughs at his enemies. And the enemy of God is Satan, is the devil. And so if God can laugh at the devil, so can we. Uh, we'll just do what our daddy does. So laugh at him because, you know, he's, the Bible says he's trying to steal, kill, and destroy and, uh, and come and rip you off. And, but listen, we know where he's coming from. We know the source and we take authority over that and we rise above the circumstance and we come out the other side victorious. So I want to encourage you, practice joy as a daily occurrence. Uh, meditate on the Word, spend time with Jesus, uh, spend time in the Spirit, uh, praying in the Spirit, and I can tell you right now that joy will bubble out your belly and you'll live happy every day. So just because we're around Christmas, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, come January or February or March, whatever month it might be, it is a season to be jolly. So be jolly, joyful, full of joy. Ha ha. Uh, get full of the joy of the Lord and it'll change your life. God bless you.